Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I'm reading from the coffee cup and then I'll be drawing out cards towards the end. This is the um, beautiful God, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck here. Alright, Leo, Leo, let's begin. Okay, Leo. Hmm. It feels like a bit of a rushed week. Um, like you're rushing about trying to get from one place to the other, trying to get things done. Like lots of multitasking here. There is somebody that's coming out of hiding. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone that's going to come out of the woods. You haven't seen in, in a long time. Um, there's like... I, I see lots of revelations coming through and it seems to be um, it's like just when you started thinking about them they appear you know when you think about somebody and then you you, you get a call from them so there, there's something like that happening here Leo um, I, I do see things are going to be revealed some se secrets or something is going to be told um, it does say here to play your cards, like to, to keep your, your cards close to your to your chest here. Um, keep uh, yourself a little bit guarded um, when, when you're meeting somebody that you're not quite sure of. I mean, you, I mean, of course you go with your instincts, but with these whatever secrets that are coming out you don't want to tell your own you don't want to give away your own uh secrets here it's a, it, i don't know something very interesting that just needs to pass along um and and have it not interfere in your personal life that's why i see you know you're kind of like uh, protected here which is good i do see there is um a like you are being seen here it's like you get chosen out of many many people you get plucked out of the, the crowd here leo um it's for some of you you could be rubbing shoulders with some very kind of um uh, important people or people with authority around you maybe you're going to an event and it's um, a very strong networking event or you know it's something that's um, very glitzy glamour <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm seeing something that just it's like oh wow you know you are amongst all this all, um, all these people this crowd um, but you're looked upon also very favorably there is something that you have you have some idea um, that can really um, transfer into something very big it can materialize into what it is that you um, want to create so if you are networking or you're looking to network just uh, say yes to certain invites because you, you you don't know who you may meet um, somebody could like fund um, your business idea there's uh, there's something like that happening here i do get that you're needing to be flexible it's showing that flexibility is important which you um you, you can be very good at here flexible in kind of things changing at last minute um you know many things like that having to adjust very quickly i also see something is going to resume um it's something that you were working on that you kind of had to put on the back burner for quite some time. It's coming through and you're going to resume this. It's a passion of yours as well. It really just keeps, it's going to be kept alive. It's very much a passion of yours. Um, and it's it's on the creative level as well is what I see. There is some kind of um, burden that I do see you've been carrying, a burden that um, involves um, a friend of uh, some kind, of a friendship um, you are at the end of this road with the burden though so something you're going to be relieved of any kind of issues um, deep talk, talks discussions and everything but you know you come out 
you come out a lot stronger here as well. Um, there may be a couple of delays waiting on some sort of response, but it is a blessing in disguise because there's a lot um, of, of important things for you to do whilst you're waiting. So it's a good opportunity to work on other things that need to be focused on as well. Um, and I do see some like celebratory drinks happening, you know, just feeling really like you're, you're saying yes to lots of things, yes to going out for drinks, yes to, you know, uh, it's like you're, you're keeping that energy alive. It's very much like you're becoming the yes person, <laughs> but also careful at the same time. Um, there's a trip also that I see you may you were planning before um, that had to be put on hold that's also coming through again. Something like that is also being resumed. I see something, maybe this is specific, but just a, a tidier, neater lifestyle or, or um, home or something like that. Uh, like you're more conscious and aware of um, the state of your home. Maybe it's a feng shui thing, feng shui. I don't know, it's very specific. <laughs> All right, oh, a ten of swords comes through. Mm -hmm. there's also something that I do see by the way it's like you know I was saying that you're keeping a lot of things alive but there is one thing that you're questioning whether the, the juice is worth it squeeze you know um, so it's like you're having to choose very um, wisely what is what you want to continue with you along your path and what you need to discard oh ten of swords and the death card Leo Leo, 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 and the temperance all oh, comes in at the right moment. Look at that. Ten of Swords, the Death, and Temperance, Leo. Oh, strong ending. I do see like the battle is over here with you, Leo, and the and you know it is coming to a, a complete like completion of this cycle coming through a big deep transformation and i do get for many of you it's quite personal touches on many different points but this transformation i mean you get such good healing from this a transformation and ending to something that is not going to be repeated anymore in your life ready for this new beginning and I do see like the universe has been preparing you for, for quite some time for this transformation also because it's quite significant. But there's going to be really good healing for you, something that's going to feel very balanced and well charged, like recharging your energy, recharging um, how you feel about things and see there's, there's like great optimism here with you. And also that's why I was seeing to keeping kind of Oh, seven of wands, keeping things, um, protecting yourself. And look, he's kind of protecting himself with this wand, you know, uh, d defending his energy, keeping your cards close to your chest, as we were saying, you know, because you've experienced certain things and not being able to trust so many. But you have something really good that's starting to unfold. It's a very deep personal transformation that's going to do you a lot of good. Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. When you see something, you're gonna go. You're gonna go and get it. You're grabbing the bull by its horns here. You know, and there is something that you you see that kind of like, you know, gives you sparks. Really, kind of ignites something within you you know and I, I just see your energy is very charged in a good good way and you're going to stand by what it is that you have what you believe in what you've been working towards and it's like you're going to prove a lot of people wrong you're going to prove yourself right and this this here with the seven of of ones I think you, you're going to do something a lot of justice. You're going to do this this job, this project, this this there's something here. You have a certain ideal, and you're going to do it justice. It's 
going to come through here with the Knight of Swords. It gives you this, um, you know, a massive opening that would just allow things to really go full speed, go ahead, you know, um, without burning yourself out. Oh, because I was seeing all that rushing. You could find yourself getting quite busy, but for 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 good things. But you're also going to um, not waste any time in taking certain chances. There is something that you see really feels like you belong, really feels like this is your opportunity, it's your place, and you're taking it. You know, um, and, and somebody also comes in to support you. There's really good support as well. Somebody is like really speaking your language is what I see. And it's like there's a like very strong connection. Things can move very quickly, but very uh, swiftly with this. And we have the Empress. I do get something here, Leo, that you're going to prove a lot of people. If the naysayers, you're going to prove them wrong. And... Um, Something that you wished for, you're going to get, I get, also with this Empress. And I get something about you, like, the, the, the veil is very thin between your connection with the spirit world here. And so you have strong magnetism. So whatever it is that you have been asking for, wishing for, it is very much there for you and that's why you, you're gaining the strength here with the knight of Swords, with both these cards you know after coming uh from this healing from this deep healing it's like oh you can tackle anything you can do whatever it is that you want to do you know when you come out on top here with the emperor something starts to really grow there's so much growth here and abundance and i, I do get you know a, a wish fulfillment more than one but it does come after some, you know, personal transformations with you, somebody around you, environment, all of that is changing. But the outcome is exactly where you want to be. And it's only going forward here, you know. I do see that you're not going to miss a beat with anything. You're very much your own boss in many ways. Even if you do have a boss, they listen to you. <laughs> that's cool all right leo thank you so very much for being here really hope that this was helpful please do let me know i appreciate every single one of you thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support i love you all and until next time